Hey fans, fighters, subscribers and YouTubers and welcome to the most spectacular fighting show on YouTube Fighters that will always be remembered This show includes documentary stories of famous boxers UFC fighters and K1 fighters that left an undeletable trail in their sport and should always remain known and famous for their achievements Please follow episodes, send your prepositions to my Facebook and make sure that your fighter gets the next story Hello and welcome. I've been absent for pretty much a long period of time since I was having so many obligations in real life and today I decided to talk about Sage Monroe Northcutt, known as Sage Northcutt, nicknamed Super. He is one of the youngest UFC fighters ever that has entered the cage after Mauricio Shogun Rua and that really have uh, the opportunity to go very high currently fighting in the lightweight division but he is focusing more on welterweight in his next fights Sage Monroe Northcutt bought on March 1st 1996 only 11 years old man only 11 years this is really really stunning thing I mean to be so young to enter the world of fighting nickname super nationality American height 6 foot 0 weight 155 pounds or 70 kilograms division lightweight very strange guard like you know like this like karate or hands a little bit lower this is not definitely his fighting style he's more opened he has uh, one hand in front simply typical for a karate fighter but his guard is a mixture division light heavyweight now as i have already said focusing to Welterweight reach 183 centimeters. Team Gracie Barra, trainer Chris Mango. Things that he has in his wonderful repertoire his third degree black belt in Taekwondo, third degree black belt in Kaju Kembo, purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And for a striking guy, he's having a really, really good record of uh, seven wins, four by knockout, and three by submission, which is by submission. Uh, a bit uh, strange because he is a pure striker but he was surprising me when I was watching him a few times and let's talk about his background Notcut began training martial arts at the age of 4 competed all over the world as a young age his father Mark is a black belt in karate his older sister Kobe amateur kickboxing champion he won a total of 77 world championships in karate at the age of 9 Notcut became the youngest person ever to be on the cover of Sport Karate Magazine, he is also an undefeated kickboxer with his record standing and 15 wins, 0 losses. Additionally, despite only being on the 7 Lakes High School varsity wrestling team for 2 months, Notcut finished 5th in the state in his weight class. Sage was inducted into the Black Belt Magazine Hall of Fame in 2012. He prides himself as being a wrestler and considers this his style alongside his kickboxing but generally he's a great taekwondoka great kicker i'd say solid puncher not world-class puncher but solid puncher he began fighting amateur series amazing amateur record 5-1 with his only loss to charles shepherd due to submission strikes in the first round the age of 18 he turned pro quickly racked up really really strong let's now talk about uh, his fights uh, he is uh, a guy that made so many surprises. His first fight versus Team Lashley, he went via wheel kick and wheel kick dropped Team Lashley down. It was his first fight, Houston, Texas, United States. It was a TKO. Catch weight, 165 pounds. He was very, very light there. Later fought Jacob Capelli, TKO punches. First match uh, lasted only 27 seconds and the second match only 55 seconds. These were very very fast victories for him. Later victory over James Christopherson, TKO punches. In 2014 he had 4 fights and all 4 fights were victories. Later win over Gage Duhon, submission, rare naked choke. This November 22nd this is also my favorite number, just no, 22 was remembered because uh, this is uh, the first time that Sage Northcutt won via a submission and in Lake Charles, Louisiana, 4 minutes 26 seconds this was also a huge surprise 
later victory over Rocky Long submission neck crank uh, this is a submission this is not typical for wrestlers this is not even typical for Jiu Jitsu this is a mixture submission and uh, versus his uh, neck crank I was uh, hoping that he will finish via rare naked choke or some guillotine but he chose the submission which is really really difficult to be made in the second round 3 minutes 30 seconds also catch weight and first pro fight I mean for me this was a first pro fight it was lightweight fight but I thought uh, in a UFC 1 the 192 uh, uh, versus Francisco Trevino who was a great uh, who was a great uh, opponent lightweight debut Trevino missed weight 165 pounds Trevino tested positive for marijuana metabolites so Sage Northcutt would be in any ways but uh, generally Sage Northcutt made a great surprise here everybody thought that he's gonna lose this fight, probably bets on him were really really huge and TKO elbows and punches October 3rd 2015 believe it or not first round only 57 seconds also Houston Texas I can't say anything but uh, he really out punched Francisco Trevino he really defeated him brutally and the last fight was versus Cody Fister submission guillotine showing UFC fight night Namahunas versus Van Zandt December 10th, I gotta say Las Vegas, Nevada, only 41 seconds of the second round. What could a man say anymore, really? What could I say for this guy? I mean, this guy was uh, showing a really, really huge potential. He's fighting on January 13, 2016 versus Brian Barberenia, UFC on Fox, Johnson versus Bader. Well, it will be fought in New York. This is his welterweight debut. I'm not uh, a typical guy who thinks that he has uh, so many chances in welterweight. But anyway, he can surprise Brian Barberenga. Despite I think Barberenga is a guy who is pretty much solid, who is pretty much good with all round. Sage Notcut, he has a good uh, striking, solid submissions. I really don't know. I'd say that race, if you ask me, this would be my bet on this fight. 50-50 is what I would give. Sage in personal life in a, is a petroleum engineering major at Texas A&M University. In December 2015, a number of websites uh, ran a story on Northcutt's father, Mark Munro Northcutt, in fall 1989. Mark Northcutt was charged with possession of cocaine with intent to distribute by federal grand jury the Southern District of Texas. Reports from 1919 also stated that he was a known steroid dealer in the area. This led to speculation that St uh, Sage may use performance enhancing drug, a claim that Sage denies and a claim that was never proved. So I got to say till uh, it is proved, I don't believe in this. I just think he is, uh, in my country you say a wunderkind. This is really a bit potential, a bit talent. And I hope that he will be a champion in UFC. But I think that he can be a champion if he returns to light weight. If you go to heavyweight, sorry, if you go to welterweight, I am just uh, not that much opportunistic since there are so, so many good fighters there. And he will be ha having a really, really tough job to show his way and to prove his value in the world of UFC. I wish all the best uh, to say to Nordkat. I hope that I will see him one day becoming a champ of UFC. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and subscribe us on YouTube. Send us your propositions to make sure to see your favorite fighter in this show. Thanks and see you all in the next episode.